Hello everyone, my name is Steven Kender. I'm here with my sisters, Laura and Elizabeth Kender. I'm a freshman mechanical engineer and they are two juniors plastics engineers. And yes, as you notice, they are twins and we're a family. Uh, one of the things that's really part of our family for as long as I can remember has been sports. We love to watch and play, but I was never really blessed with the athletic gene, so I kind of just watched my sisters and my little brother as they played. Um, but one of the things that I really could never get used to was seeing them or their close friends or their teammates on the ground in so much pain that they couldn't move because of sports injuries. And it always begged the question, why are sports injuries so common and why are they just an accepted part of playing sports? And that brings to the bigger problem of sports injuries. Um, they're mostly caused by the fact that athletes are fitter and stronger than they've ever been, so they, if that results in more severe play. But on, at the same time, it's also due to the fact that equipment is, equipment is just not up to par with what athletes need. Equipment needs to be comfortable, but protective. And so far, there hasn't been an adequate solution. And that inadequacy results in five and a half million yearly injuries to kids and teens alone, uh, just because of sports. And that's why we're here for you today. We're here to introduce Kender's Athletic Body Armor a revolutionary new sports equipment that will be both comfortable and protective. And you might think that Kender stands for our last name, but it also stands for Kinetic Energy Dissipating Equipment Response System. Very good. <laughs> so using advanced chemicals and materials, our product is flexible under natural movements, but as soon as a force is imparted on it, it hardens up to act like a solid and protects the body from joint snappings and serious injuries. And our product is something no other product on the market does. It has five key aspects that make it unique, which is they are it's superiorly protective while still being flexible. It's lightweight, low cost, and modular. And modular is important because people play multiple sports. For example, hockey and football are two seasons that many high school players play, and they are sports that we feel like should not have parts of the body that are left vulnerable, so our product bridges that gap. And our product also grows with the athlete. Um, Pieces of the equipment can be added on so that when the athlete outgrows it, they can just add the pieces on. And then, so our product is an array of capsules made of high impact and flexible um, plastics that are interconnected with hollow tubes and inside of the capsules are shear thinning fluids, which are unique because they act like a fluid, but under a force they harden up and because the viscosity increases and that protects the body. So, since sports are so popular, you would assume that the sporting and the protective equipment industry is very large, and you would be right. It's about a $2 billion industry and is continuing to grow due to the steady increase of youths participating in sports. The two major players are Easton Bell and Amher. They make up a combined total of about 50% of the industry. And this industry is in dire need of a technological innovation, and that's why we're here today. As Elizabeth said, we have something that could and we strongly believe will revolu revolutionize the industry. Our customer profile includes athletes who are looking for the best protection while still being able to have the optimal performance and movement. And in the future we will look towards major manufacturers for options like licensing deals and so forth. And then our, um, our cost structure includes making our product, testing it, manufacturing it and distributing it. And in our initial plan is to create a strong and working prototype that we can implement into hockey or football or any impact sporting event that's local so that we can provide credible data for our company. And then we'll look to move into the national market after we have expanded into the local businesses and local market. And with just a 5% share in this industry, our company will have a valuation of over $100 million, which is outstanding. Um, and I want to bring you back to the original thought of how many youths are taken out of sports they love due to injuries and injuries that could last a lifetime. With our low cost and insanely protective equipment, imagine how much we could change the sporting industry forever. I believe we have a, a slight bit more time. Just to show a quick seven second animation. I don't know if I can move back through this. Hold on a second. Oh, and like us on Facebook and Twitter. Yes. <laughs> There you just, go. Okay, so where do you want to go? Just, 
Have you made any, any uh, right, let's see or any move protective there. Yeah. Um, well, we've done extensive tests on the shear thickening fluid. Yeah. They've performed 20% better than the standard elbow pad. We tested an elbow pad, and so they it performed, it was a yeah. sheet of That's nylon right. with the shear thickening fluid on it. Okay, okay go ahead. And then so. this actually isn't the material we're using because the resources we have now with the money that we were given from the competition in December, we could only use the 3D printer that our plastics, depart plastics department uses. Sure. So this is ABS, which is a much rigid plastic, but we are going to be using PET. Yeah. Yeah, 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 it, it way will more flexible. Gel -like. mm -hmm. And it will compress. So and when it I will hit be... it harder, the harder I hit it, the more rigid it is. Yes, exactly. and, and so that's going to be a plastic that we've been researching, and we'll be with your I research guess. and support, we'll be able to actually make the product with the, but that's These just were 3D printed. We just wanted to give you a no, visual. Yeah, so, so then does it soften up again? Yes. yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So right away I on instant, it, it will hard. get but hard and then have animation. Yes. It, the mouse is a little bit. Try to hear some. Oh, nice. At least. Okay. So just as a demonstration, I'm not so great at. 3D animation, but you can see that just as a visual, the, the plastic is not the actual material will be made of. It will have more compressive abilities. Yeah. To dissipate the energy. Mm. Okay. Um, do you, you started to, to mention some specifics in terms of percent of force dissipation compared to current products that are on the market? So we purchased a, last December for the prototyping competition, we purchased uh, a, a, an elbow pad that had a bunch of uh, double force dissipation air pocket protection gimmicks on the, the label. That was just from and, the sports authority. Yes, and this this is a graph of, of force dissipation over time. It's very minuscule amount of time, about eight milliseconds. But you can see that this is our our test concept equipment. Okay. It, Provides much more resistance to the to the. Yeah, I think supply. this type of data is extremely important. I, I know mm -hmm. you spent a lot of time talking about the market and trying to get people your buy in the you know the audience buy in in terms of the market. I, I think everybody understands that the sports injuries are, are certainly on the rise. Mm -hmm. I think to to really get somebody you know showing this type of data is is very important and also mm -hmm. showing how you would configure it into. You talked about modular equipment where you can add on mm -hmm. getting more visualization. To okay. show that, yes. I think would be key. Okay. And that's one of the, one of the things that we're working on as we develop our, our skills in, in CAD design. Uh, we have a, a, a CAD model, um, but we haven't yet worked out the animations. Do you, have, do you have IP around this intellectual property in terms of the we're, plastics or the, 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 the is it we a fluid have, that's inside? Yeah, yes. Yes. Okay. So we've we've researched almost nine thousand patents by now. Um, and none come close to this design. Um, and you have we have, we have, we have, and we've been talking with someone. Yes. Yeah. Right. So, so you, no, sorry, go ahead. No. Okay. So, so you don't stop doing it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Get an IP attorney. Okay. Yes, we, yeah, we have already, a family. Yeah. You have. Okay. Mm -hmm. But he's, the, you know, some of the family friends do this stuff. He's also an auto mechanical guy. Oh no, yeah. No, he, he is a real a man. IP yeah. guy. 100%. Okay, yeah. Right, but you, you don't want a guy that's an attorney, okay? You want a no. guy that is a chemist, okay, and also an attorney. Mm -hmm. You want somebody that's got two, you know, he's okay. a technical cat, plus he's got, mm -hmm. plus he has that, and have them do a patent search to find out what's out there. Okay. Okay, because mm -hmm. you have a very nice product here. Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. but it's got to be covered. It's got to be covered. There's a way mm -hmm. around patents, okay, even if this isn't 100% yeah, covered. Tricks. It, I wouldn't call it sneaky tricks, it's just, you know, it's it, it gives you the freedom to operate is what it does. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I, I would really get on that before I start, you know, you're going to you just shared it with 10 people who are going to talk to 10 people, okay? And mm -hmm. then this stuff kind of goes quickly. Yeah, we mm -hmm. actually have the ball rolling already. Yeah. Too. Yeah, cool. he, he already yeah. has our, our documents and right. our list of claims. So go, go ahead, Mark. I, no, I, I think, you know, those, those are the major points. I thought you did an excellent job. Um, but really sell your idea more than, than okay. selling the concept. Yeah. Yes. Now, one of the critiques that we got a, about our pitch was that we didn't incorporate the business side. That we needed to do more market. Yeah. Stuff. So, so I couldn't <laughs> do that. And then you need, you need some money to oh, make yes. some parts so that you guys play squats, right? Yeah, we, we yes. play lacrosse yeah. here. And mm -hmm. so you guys should 
wear it. <laughs> it right? That's part of it. That's plenty of time, right? <laughs> if we can't wear it, who else will? <laughs> yeah. All right. That's awesome. So yeah, I, I, I had a couple, couple comments for you guys. So, okay. uh, so here you go. So um, your, your data is good, but you're faster on your, you know, the, the, the faster than me. You, you don't have to sell me that I need to protect my kid. You know, my kids are mm -hmm. active and they're jocks. Mm -hmm. Okay, they've all had broken bones. Everybody's had broken bones. You don't have to sell me on that, okay? That's a, you know, that's a one minute, hey, there's th this many injuries that have that happen to kids, okay? This is impact that we can show you, to Mark's point. We can go ahead and show you shock loading changes from this to that, okay? We can go ahead and go ahead and, and do that. So I would do that, important. Okay. Same comments with uh, ID, prote ID protection. Um, I think the size of the prize for you guys is is quite huge. Is, is quite huge. Um, I think you are entrepreneurial. I really li like that. I like the idea about growing with the child. Um, I think you know one of you, okay, you know, preferably you know one, one of you ladies, you know, showing how okay, this is how I would wear this. You know, it would protect my shoulder. You know, where are injuries? Showing that, and you know, and, and as I grow, I can snap on it. It's kind of like a Lego approach. Yeah. Right? I can snap it mm -hmm. on, you know, for 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 my kids, and maybe on, you know, one leg you've got it to your thigh, and the other leg you got it on, on onto the other ones. I yeah. think that that would be, I think that that would be worthwhile. Okay. I think I'd be careful about the thing of, you know, boys, we can just get five percent. Every pitch, I get, I get a lot of these kind of presentations because mm -hmm. I work in, in private equity. And so every time I hear, I always hear this thing of what if we could just get 1% of the market? What if we could just get 5% of the market? Yeah. I want to show me, this is the current, This I want to know the size of the price. But show me the current products, okay? And show me what, how you differentiate yourself, which you clearly do, okay? And, 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 and I'll figure out for myself is, okay, these guys can take 10%. These guys can take 5%. Okay. Okay. Well, you can license it to, to the big boys. Yeah. Yes. We're already in distribution. Mm -hmm. Those yeah. are one of our possible that was Mark. And I, I would think of three things just on that point is, is that I would think of, uh, you know, companies that are really in this, this type of business, like integrating this with Under Armour. Mm -hmm. I know the guy that runs Under Armour, okay? They'd love this, okay? Uh, I would think of things like Shark Tank. You know, once you've got stuff, okay? okay. Mm -hmm. They would love. It. No, they would. No, they would. I'm telling they you. They have connections. I love that yeah. huh? They have like manufacturing connections. And, um, oh, oh you know, you could do this. You could do this with. You know, you could do this with 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 what you've got. You just got to get to the real material. You got to get to the real mm -hmm. material where you have a demonstrator. Okay? Mm -hmm. And 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 that's why we need your resources and yeah. support. <laughs> From this and I think you, I don't think you'd have a pro problem. Go ahead and, and getting that. There's a couple of prototype shops. There's one in Columbus that does uh, that works for a lawyer that makes all your oh, lacrosse, okay. yeah. lacrosse, yeah. lacrosse stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, and they're called uh, they're called Proto. I will. I've got my briefcase here, and I'll tell you that there are priority de priority priority design priority, priority design in Columbus. Columbus, Ohio. Okay. And uh, you can get a hold of me through the school, and I can introduce you to okay. Okay. introduce you to the but. But they do all of the work for, for both for gloves, okay, um, as well as 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 you know the body art, body art, okay. So so they make it, they, and then they'd love to work with something like this, okay. We're all so excited. You should be excited. This is a good product. You guys are doing. No, you guys are really doing some good stuff. You know, yeah, yeah. You know, it's super cute that it's a family thing. You know, but. You got a great idea. That, that ain't gonna make you. What's gonna yeah. make you is is that you know, this changes. This can change the game. Okay, and can protect our kids. Mm -hmm. Okay. Excellent job. Thank you so nice much. Job, Thank you for your time. All right.